Hi guys, so for anybody who might be watching this, um, I'm going to be shooting these videos probably uh, a lot during the first week of the programs that I'm doing. Um, so this brings the day, to day one of the squat program that I'm now starting fresh. And um, I wanted to just kind of go into a bit more detail of the background of the training and, and my career first before I talk about the program that I'll be starting today. So I uh, was starting the squat program in about half an hour, uh, waiting for my partner to get back from dog sitting. Um, so my career started basically, or my, my interest in fitness started um, when I started martial arts from an early age. Always been interested in, in things like karate and Muay Thai. Um, practitioner of both of those arts. Then later on in life, um, became interested in MMA. As uh, now it's become a huge thing. I started doing MMA quite a few years ago and uh, built up to a, a fighting at a semi-pro level. Um, enjoyed a few losses, a few wins. So learn a lot more from losses than you do wins, as they say. Um, um, but thoroughly enjoyed it. And unfortunately, um, my time at, in MMA had to cut short quite suddenly because, as some of you may be aware from posts that you might have seen on Facebook, um, I've damaged my neck um, and I've damaged that in training. Um, my vertebrae in my uh, cervical spine are crushed and splintered on both sides and they're pressing against nerves uh, which means basically no more fighting um, and it's a progressive um, problem it's just only going to get worse it won't get any better uh, I've seen surgeons and such about it um, and for the moment um, we've sort of going to see how it goes uh, if it gets any worse then surgery will be, an, will be a definite option um, it does hamper my training at times, certainly anything overhead, I find it very difficult to press overhead without pain. Um, and yeah, so I just kind of see how I go with my neck. Also as well, I've not really trained, well certainly not for at all for four weeks, um, because I've also had shingles recently as well. Um, as I said in my previous video, I suffer from insomnia. So re rarely get more than two or three hours of sleep a night, so as you can imagine that uh, does play... Uh, uh, havoc with my training and my recovery so I'm constantly run down um, and also my partner and I get up at three o'clock every morning to to do our work so um, yeah it's it's quite hard um, so I've lost motivation for my training because there's shingles and previously as well my, my training hasn't been consistent either so I've dropped from 120 kilos now which is a good thing because my doctor said I had to lose weight I've now dropped from 120 kilos, I'm now at 113, but I think I've lost a little bit of muscle with that as well because of not training. Um, I've certainly drastically reduced my calories to try and cut fat down, which I have done. I'm losing a bit of belly fat now, but now I want to get the step the training back up, get my strength back up, and you know keep, add a bit more muscle to my frame again. So a bit of a background, as I said, to my career. I started off as a PT and a sports therapist uh, many, many years ago. Uh, back when I was 20 and um, then I decided to go back to college quite a few years ago and redo my level threes again um, with the thought of becoming REP registered. Now I originally did that thinking the, the rep register was the way forward but realizing that it's to me it's it's just uh, it's a non-sanctioned um, support unit it doesn't help you in any way to be rep registered as far as I'm concerned in the training business and it's just a way of them making money out of personal trainers as far as I'm concerned. Um, you, you, there's a lot of great personal trainers and coaches out there that aren't rep registered or working and doing great with clients. So I didn't become rep registered. I just redid my qualifications. I also went on to do strength and conditioning. And I'm also an accredited um, British weightlifting coach as well now, as is my partner. She's more recently now just done her level threes, her level twos and level threes. But she's an accredited British Olympic lifting coach, which we both are. Um, so we run a business together called Live Well Project, um, which is basically a social enterprise which um, delivers fitness classes, education, mentoring and coaching to all in the community. We aim our, our classes mainly at young people at the moment, but we subsidize these classes with things like private personal training. We also deliver chair-based exercise to the elderly um, and to the over 50s we do classes and to um, mixed ability groups as well. So and also people with learning disabilities, um, which gives us a great sense of achievement and a, feel, and a feeling of well-being. And I'm sure hopefully, and, and well, it does help those as well as, as we've had feedback from them. So that's our, that's our business. That's what we do. Um, long days, very busy, and uh, we, we love what we do. So 
So more on now, that's that's our career or my career and, and our business now back onto the squat program I'll be doing. As I said, it's a five day squat program with a with each day a different muscle group mixed in. Today is back squats, high bar back squats with wearing Olympic lifting shoes with a narrow stance. So that's going to emphasize really uh, more of the, the quads uh, in that stance and the medialis, which I really want to bring up more. Um, as I said, I've lost a little bit of muscles and legs are using my best feature, my biggest feature. So I, that's why I'm, uh, I'm, I'm concentrating on building those up again. Um, and then tomorrow it's going to be flat shoes or, or bare feet with vib or vibrams um, with a sumo stance and a low bar squat. So that's going to emphasize more of the glutes and the hamstrings as well for a bit more power generation, um, a stronger position generally um, for squatting. Um, but I do really want to bring up my thighs. So I might, I might add a little bit of Bulgarian split squats in there today as well, depending on how I'm feeling. But I don't want to push myself because I'm still struggling with my, sh my shingles. I'm um, still in a lot of pain with those and on a lot of painkillers, so I don't want to reduce my immune system and then get ill again. So we'll be as careful as possible with that and we'll take it easy for the first week. And then we're just going to add a bit of bench and possibly a bit of chest assistance, uh, flies, or maybe some dips as well. Uh, and that'll be the workout today. So pretty basic, maybe a five by five, four sets of eight, something like that. Pretty basic. We'll, we'll decide when we get there uh, how I'm feeling. And what kind of weight I use, but I'll I'll probably film one of the squats. I'm not going to bother filming the bench. It's mainly the squat progression and the squats that I'm interested in filming and, and documenting. Um, so just to prove to people that you don't have to squat one day a week, one one day a week, and and still see gains. Um, so again, thanks if you've watched. Um, uh, like I say, it's more of my therapy really, and I've shot this on the webcam today to try a different medium. So excuse me if the the um, picture doesn't look that great um so thanks if you've watched and um i'll probably film a bit of the workout as well okay